After researching the medical assistant programs available here in Abilene, I decided that Cisco had the best one that was available for me. In order to get into the medical assisting program, there is an application that you have to fill out. Once the application is accepted, some of the first classes that you will take are medical terminology and anatomy and physiology. That will give you a good foundation of what to expect for the rest of the program. So what we learn in the clinical part of the class is we learn how to remove staples and remove sutures. We also learn how to draw blood, so we get a little bit of the phlebotomy part of it. We also learn how to do vital signs. We learn how to do EKGs. We also know how learn how to um, do CPR. We also know how to position patients in any position that they need to be in in order to be examined. We'll also prep the specimens for the labs. As a medical assistant, each day that I arrive, I check the schedule, make sure that we have all the charts prepared. I also start stock the rooms and I get prepared for all patients coming in. We call the patients back. We start getting their vitals, which consist of weight, blood pressure, heart rates, respirations. We also get their information put into the computer so the doctor can be able to see them. We also room the patient. We can do venipuncture, EKGs. We can draw up medications. We can give injections. Um, we also assist the physician in the room helping the patient get more comfortable and in position for any examinations that they're going to do. We also assist the physician in any procedures that he's doing as well. During our last semester, you are required to perform 180 hours of clinical work in a physician's office. Also, once you've completed your externship, as well as all of your courses, you are qualified to take the National Certification Exam. Once I finish the medical assisting program here at Cisco College, I'm looking forward to getting a position in the OBGYN clinic, being able to help with both the administrative and clinical side of the office.